Bollywood actor Jacqueline Fernandez was aware of conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar's criminal history and cooked up a false story to wriggle out of investigations in a multi-crore money laundering case, the Enforcement Directorate has said in its charge sheet. Jacqueline Fernandez claimed that she never knew of Sukesh Chandrasekhar's cases is false, the Enforcement Directorate says in the charge sheet that has been accessed by NDTV. A local court in Chitradurga, Karnataka will today hear the anticipatory bail application filed by the head of the Murgamat, Shiva Murthy Murga Sharanaru, in a case of alleged sexual assault on two minor girls. The police have registered a case against the seer and four others under POSCO Act 2012 and have taken up the investigation. A minister in the Nitish Kumar government who is an accused in a 2014 kidnapping case resigned on Wednesday night amid protest by the opposition. The resignation has been accepted and forwarded to the governor said a statement from the chief minister's office. Karthik Kumar was made the law minister after Nitish Kumar formed the new Bihar government by dumping the BJP. The Haryana police have booked a person for allegedly duping Pundri independent MLA Randir Golan's son of Rs 49 lakhs in lieu of a job to his cousin in the state police. The case registered at Panchkula Sector 14 police station against BJP leader has given a handle to opposition leaders to attack the BJP government over alleged recruitment scams which have come to light in the past few years. Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao, who visited Bihar on Wednesday and met Chief Minister Nitish Kumar and his deputy and Rashtra Janata Dal leader Tejashwi Yadav, called for BJP Mukt Bharat. KCR, in a joint press conference with CM Nitish Kumar and Deputy CM Tejashwi Yadav, attacked the centre on price rise, unemployment, privatisation policies and called for BJP Mukt Bharat.